So today was a pretty rough day at the LGS. Pretty tired. Uh, came home. Opened YouTube. Was about to eat dinner. Probably going to watch some Command Zone. And I see on the recommended section, uh, USMTG Nationals 2000 on ESPN2. I've watched the entire thing. And uh, I feel genuinely sad. This content, even 22 years later, has me stuck to my chair. So I know I had to make this video. And I also know you're looking at the title and you're like, this guy is an absolute ass and he's dumb. Let's just hear me out. Okay, I'm a commander player, uh, but before that, I was just a spectator. And uh, I would hear about magic from friends. And, you know, I would sometimes sit in during lunch and play with their standard decks. And that was about as far as I thought I was willing to go in magic. Uh, it was only, you know, probably really when I watched a competitive uh, documentary about magic that I began to take it more seriously. And, you know, that involves reading about decks online, watching content creators and diving deeper into the game as a whole, even with mechanics. Uh, and that's why I discovered the professor and even the command zone later on. Uh, you know, whether it's checking which deck box best protects your cards or how you should actually properly shuffle. Now, of course, like the vast majority of people, I never got to become a competitive player. I ended up a casual and uh, I would play weekly at my local game store with friends. And I was totally OK with that. All right. Th that's no issue. I think we're all fine with being a casual player. But it was always fun to read articles about tournaments and to have that small little feeling that maybe someday I'd become the best MTG player in the world. Uh, it didn't happen, but you know, with games like League of Legends, Apex, Fortnite, and almost every other AAA game, they utilize uh, competitive formats to create aspirations among younger players to someday compete on a global stage with a bunch of cheering fans. And casual players are created when players realize that they can't be competitive. They don't have the time for it. Um, you know, the, the footage in front of us, we've all probably seen it, the ESPN magic footage uh, from the late 90s and early 2000s. It was exciting and new and fresh and competitive. Uh, you could even buy world championship decks with the exact same list as players like John Finkel and Brian Selden. Even though they're gold-bordered, they would give you a chance to play the same deck card by card that the pros would use to win the MTG world championships. And it would even have the city on it, you know, Brussels, Tokyo, Seattle, Berlin, right? It was global, exciting, and uh, the excitement during some of these matches you've just never seen again. Now, Commander is a casual format, and it has become a cash cow for Hasbro. And I honestly think that's it's a scary and dangerous environment to be in, where casual players have become center stage. Uh, the pro scene for MTG that we once knew is almost entirely gone. I think they just put back in uh, the pro tour, you know, there are still RCQs and world championships, but this billion dollar brand has probably committed less money to these events than they have the news post Malone secret layers, which is crazy. Every player and every new player needs someone to look up to. It's TSM for League of Legends. Uh, it's FaZe Clan for Call of Duty and for Magic. That's the issue. We, we don't have anyone that we can name and I want to, I don't want to be a huge pessimist, right? Uh, and there is a lot of time for this to be fixed. Watsi is recording record profits, and they let us know that they intend to double these profits again. So let's double the competitive payout. Let's double the amount of coverage. Let's double the marketing budgets for the competitive events. They had one on Twitch for the recent World Championship. 11,000 viewers with millions of players. That just doesn't make sense. Send WPNs like me pamphlets that we can hand out to customers, new and old. And... Uh, notifications about upcoming live stream events and highlight these pro players extensively on social media. Heck, even take out a Times Square ad. Do what you have to do. Bring kids back into the game that we all cherish and we want to continue to exist. Post Malone lands are not going to do that. And I love Post Malone. I think he's a great guy. He's a great face for the game, but he should not be the main focus of the game. He's, he's a singer. Okay, he's not a pro magic player uh, and people are not going to look up to him. As a magic player, they look up to him as an artist. <sighs> an exciting, broadcasted, large prize pool event on Twitch, and also hopefully streamed on YouTube, would be mind-blowingly successful. Don't reach out to Mr. Beast or Post Malone. Just invest in players like Seth Manfield or, or Jan Merkel or uh, Nathan, the, the, the most recent 
uh, first place world championship winner and make them idols for us to want to be. That's my take. I don't hate Commander. I love Commander. I play it every week. I just want the game to get better. And I don't think Commander is the format that makes magic grow. 